So listen, man, there was a lot more that happened at wrestle dream than just the main event. I think one of the matches everybody was talking about when it was all said and over is to Kesta in that three way with Will Ospreay and Ricochet. I mean, people were, were talking about this match as if this match happened in the future and we were fortunate enough to get a peek. Lots of crazy stuff in this one. What'd you think, Tony? I thought the Kesta was, uh, I thought the Kesta was kind of the, the Kesta was kind of the star of the show. Wow. I, I really did. I, I mean, we look, Will Ospreay, we have seen a lot of his stuff and, and we have seen a lot of ricochet stuff. I mean, they do things that are phenomenal, but Takesha would really, to me, I, I just, I have, I have a lot of time for Takesha, man. A lot of time. I, and I just, of course, you know, that ball headed prick got involved as well. Don Calais. And, uh, that was uh, kind of a, a sour taste in my mouth, but I thought Takesha did some great shit, man. You know what else, who else I thought did some great, great stuff. And I was very proud of was private party. Oh yeah, absolutely. They had a great showing against the young bucks over the weekend. Yes, they did. And you know, they, they came out and they, uh, well, they, they didn't, they didn't receive the big pop. Yeah. And, uh, but by the time it was all over with fans were with it, fans were with it. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll be I honest. I, I've even seen that recently with the young bucks. It wasn't that long ago. We saw the young bucks, uh, have a fantastic match, but man, it was grand slam. And I, I was sort of nonplussed with the crowd response for the young bucks. And I was like, man, maybe fans just don't want them to be heels. Yeah. But then I couldn't help, but note by the end of the match, man, everybody in the place was standing. Like they won everybody over. They do every time. I feel like that's like a young buck special. And I do wonder like at what point, because on some level, I still think with all their accolades, I still think they might be overrated. I mean, underrated. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I feel like there's so much negativity and so much anti AEW bias that some of that sort of spills over onto the young bucks. And it's like, man, whoever saw a bad young buck match, I don't think they, I don't think they exist. No, I, 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 I agree with that. And talk to me about this so much AEW negativity. Well, you know, listen, there's a whole lot of silly tribalism that only exists with a certain section of fans online. It doesn't exist in real life. Like it's not like the guys in the AEW locker room hate the guys in the WWE locker room or vice versa. They're all coworkers. They're all colleagues. They're all trying to pull in the same direction. Like what's good for WWE in a weird way is good for AEW. Of course. I mean, it's the wrestling industry. And I think fans sometimes think that the talent go home and sleep under an AEW blanket or a WWE blanket, but that's just not reality. Like this is their job. And, you know, to make the hamburger analogy, if hey, you've got a successful McDonald's, you're running a successful McDonald's franchise and you're the GM, but Burger King offers you a raise with a better schedule. You can work first shift instead of second. Then you take it not to make a silly burger analogy, but it's the same thing on some level, just presented differently. And I think there's a lot of people who think, well, the young bucks aren't shit because they're not on WWE. And I just don't think that's fair. No, that's, that's not fair. And of course that's, that's fans who are, who are number one idiots, but number two, do you think a lot of that is real? Oh, that's right. You're a bot guy. You think that there's a lot of bots. There are a lot of bots out there. I'm not arguing that there's not bots. Right. Not only bots, do you think they just you know, they're just being, trying to be contrarian. Yes. They're trying to be edgy. Yes, exactly. I could see that. I, yeah, I definitely think some of that exists. Like it, it has become, and I don't know how this happened, but it's kind of become in fashion to shit on AEW. Like, and I just never get, got that. Like my dad, whenever he's critical of Alabama's football play, he takes no joy in it. It's painstaking. Damn it. We got to get our secondary to get, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. It's not like, oh, these guys are the shits. I mean, right. It's, we just don't, it's just weird that that only seemingly exists in wrestling. Yeah, it is. Well, 
that's the nature of what we got. That's the business we're in. So let's move forward with that. Uh, because, you know, I, uh, I personally, uh, stay away from that stuff because I don't want it to affect my work at all. I don't want the few and believe you me, it's in compared to the actual world. It's yes. the few. Yes. I, I don't want the few to, uh, their negativity nor their ideas on creative, uh, to influence what I'm doing as far as my job is concerned. And I've, I've been told now that isn't Twitter or X going to, you can't block people anymore. Oh, I don't know. I, I I've been blocking motherfuckers left and right. I don't, I heard that that soon you won't be able to block or mute people anymore. Oh, wow. And if that, if that is the case, I'm going to completely leave Twitter. There'll be a lot of people who leave, I think. Yeah. Right. Well, I tell you what I'm not leaving. And that's aren't you uh, leaving? this conversation without talking about Adam Cole, baby. Mm -hmm. I heard a little tease and he is back. We saw the return of MJF and the return of Adam Cole. Uh, man, I, what, a, what an ovation, what a response that Adam Cole got, right? Yeah. Adam Cole got uh, what I think was a, a deserved response. Uh, you know, the kid is, uh, kid is number one, a great kid. Number two, a fine performer and number three, and most importantly, God, he's gone through so much. Yeah. In injury wise with concussions and a broken ankle that he suffered last year during, uh, the, uh, the grand slam event in New York. So you just, you just got to pull for him and he got a great response and I think it's good to have him back. Uh, the flip side is, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, not good to have MJF back. Well, yeah. truer words have never been spoken, just a turd mm -hmm. human being, but Hey, you used to talk a lot of trash about Adam Cole and saying you could beat his ass in video games. Is that, you still believe what? that you still standing on business or is that cap? Well, you know what? I have not, uh, I have not um, played video games in quite a while, so I don't know. With video games, it's kind of like any activity. You kind of got to be doing it on a regular basis to get good at it. And there was one time on Halo that I really thought, really thought that I was pretty good at Halo. And Halo's his his go-to game as well. But I haven't played Halo in six months, so I don't know. I don't know if I am or not. Do you play uh, NBA 2K? No, nah, I don't play that shit. Okay. Well, if you're I, I, I want to kill people, okay? And that's what you do on Halo. You kill people or you kill aliens. Put it that way. I want to shoot. I want. I don't want to. I don't want to play a basketball game or a football game or a baseball game that I can not watch on TV. I want to shoot somebody. Does that make sense? Uh, that's pretty aggressive, Tony. <laughs> you think I'm aggressive? How about the guys that play uh, Grand Theft Auto? You don't do that? No, I don't do that. I haven't done that mm -mm. yet. Have you never played Grand Theft Auto? I tried, but I couldn't control the car. I wrecked it and everything, and I went, eh, fuck it. Even though I bought it. I played it for maybe five minutes, and that was it. In the five minutes, did you um, put a hooker I, in the car? I wrecked the car. I couldn't get anywhere in the car. Oh, you couldn't bait no. the hookers to come to the car? No, you're supposed to drive somewhere, right? Oh, I don't know. I've never yeah. played. I just know that there's a lot of hookers. Okay, Here, here's what I here's what I did. I started in and we robbed something and we killed a bunch of cops and we got in the car and we took off and I wrecked. And I said, fuck it. And I tried it again and I wrecked again. And uh just that that was it. Not Tell for me. What you just said. Is the headline for four one one fuck cheat tomorrow above the fold? So I killed a bunch of cops. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was in Grand Theft Auto, you bunch of four one one fuck sheet idiots. I love you for that.